Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Maximin in the tier 6 British Premium Medium Tank. It is the Cromwell Berlin and as you can see it is a very, uh, very healthy amount of gold and a very special piece of equipment over here. With a rotation device, um, bond gun rammer and bounty aiming device, which is rather surprising. Uh, that is not something you see on the Cromwell Berlin very often. But most people will go with like maybe coated optics to make the view range better, maybe some uh, vents to make everything better about the vehicle. But surprisingly enough, Maximin is going to go with that aiming device. I mean, the vehicle doesn't have the worst aiming at 0.36 base dispersion. Uh, the view, view range, like I said, is not the best. 360 meters base view range, so you don't actually get to that max view range as you can see over here. But Maximin is going to show you that even without... Even without uh, the max V range, you can still do quite a bit. There we go. And it, yeah, it's actually gold rounds as <laughs> the regular rounds over here. I was like, what is this shell velocity? That's not a Cromwell B shell velocity. And yeah, that's because it is the APCR rounds that actually have 202 millimeters of penetration and 181 meters a second shell velocity compared to the regular rounds, which have only 145 millimeters of penetration and 785 meters a second shell velocity um so yeah cromwell b as it is called over here is right now pretty much free if you can get enough tokens uh, so how do you get the tokens right the token store like the the title says free token store stuff right so to get those tokens you need to go into the d-day command center i will leave a link down below to that site um every few days you need to go over there click on a, a special area um, and get five tokens so that's basically it you can get more tokens by watching twitch streams connecting your world of tanks and twitch accounts and getting those twitch drops you can get tokens from weekly drops and weekend drops so make sure that you are watching both uh, weekly stuff and streams on the weekend over there yes so you can get so many so many things from those twitch drops from that token store you can get four premium vehicles you can get two out of the four premium vehicles um chrome will be included there's also the tog 2 the britannia panther and the tiger 131 over there if you wish to get something else i will be making videos about all of those uh, in succession i guess the first one's going to be the chrome will be but afterwards there will be videos about the tog tiger 131 and the Britannia Panther as well to hopefully make it easier for you to to decide uh, which vehicle is the bestest for you. Just make sure that uh, you do get all tokens because if you don't get every single one of the tokens, you won't be able to get two vehicles out of the four. You'll be able to get only one. There are 90 tokens in total that you can get. Um, and each vehicle costs 45 tokens. So if you miss one of the this week's twitch drops if you forget to press on one of those uh d-day command center buttons you will not be able to get two different vehicles but only one oh my goodness the armor on the chrome will be definitely not working out over here um so yeah make sure that you're not missing out on any of the tokens with that out of the way let's go over the Cromwell b right Cromwell b is very similar to the regular Cromwell with the uh, the best gun the only difference that this vehicle is, has is that the Cromwell B actually has worse turret traverse dispersions, like when you turn the turret, it's going to be less accurate than the regular Cromwell, but it is more mobile. It actually has better tank traverse speed and better terrain resistances, which makes it a more uh, mobile Cromwell, basically, with worse turret traverse dispersion. Those are the only differences between the regular Cromwell and the Cromwell Berlin over here. Um, so if you like the Cromwell, I mean, this is this is the vehicle for you, right? Train the crews, get some extra credits, and just have fun in the game. But yeah, Cromwell B, like I said, pretty much a Cromwell. It has the, uh, the same rate of fire, the amazing DPM that a Cromwell has. It has the very lovely camo. It's actually the second uh, best out of any tier 6 medium tank inside the game. So you can be very sneaky with this vehicle as well. There's something else you can actually use that I forgot to say earlier. Instead of the aiming device, sometimes you do like to take um, an exhaust on the Cromwell B or the Cromwell because it is very sneaky at tier 6. It is just, it can do very cheeky stuff 
if you know how to sneak around with the vehicle. Uh, but apart from that, dispersion 0.36, not the best, not the worst, um, aim time 2.3 seconds, not the best, not the worst, right? Gun is pretty reliable overall, very mobile, 64 km an hour top speed, uh, 20 reverse speed. The terrain resistances, like I said, on the Cromwell B are just way better than on the regular Cromwell, so that means that you will be able to use, you will to drive around in that 64 km an hour top speed on most um, terrains, I guess, even on soft terrain, it will be pretty, pretty mobile compared to the regular Cromwell. Um, you do have 52, if I'm not mistaken, in the tank traverse, makes it very easy to turn around. No one can flank you around with a Cromwell, you're supposed to do the flanking yourself, I guess. But yeah, overall, very mobile, very high DPM, so if that is your thing, if you enjoy the Cromwell, I definitely do recommend going for the Cromwell B. I mean, just, just look at this. Churchill, one out in the open, one into the backside. The two. Can we get a third one? Get the kill. Easy peasy. Just look at that rate of fire. Just look at the damage of the 2000 damage. Four kills over here. But this game is still not looking good. Down by 2000 HP. Down by two vehicles. Yes, so Maximin is going towards the base over here, trying to reset the cap. But I mean, you don't know who's over there. Who is over there? The S35 CA, maybe. Maybe it's the, the M6 that is actually just appearing over here. M6, which is actually the best. T6 heavy tank inside the game right now. Pretty much overpowered in its current form, in my opinion. Against a Cromwell B, that was a full health M6. One to the backside of the M6. Lovely shots over here by Maximilia. I guess the, uh, the bounty aiming device is working, but not actually making the shots count against the M6 over here. Missing two shots. This is not good. An M6 has crazy rate of fire. It has a, a lot of armor these days as well. It's just a very chunky American beast. But there we go. One with the M6. Like the M6 is going for out, aiming, missing one shot. But the M6, like I said, does have a really good gun. He can actually fire again. Need to watch out. You don't want to get hit by the M6 over here. The M6 is like a whacked paid actor confirmed. I don't know. But the M6 missing two shots. That would have actually put Maxi down to basically no HP. And, yeah, I guess we need some luck to have amazing battles. Shutting down the KV-1 as well in the camp after bouncing the KV-1 shot. That is not something you see every day with the Cromwell. It has... Don't expect the Cromwell to bounce anything, right? It, the, the armor is, is non-existent. It does have okay-ish. Like, maybe if it's against an AT-2 or something with a stock gun. I don't know. Uh, but overall... Oh my goodness, the RNG doesn't like us over here. Yeah, overall, do not expect the armor to block anything. It has 63, I think, uh, millimeters of frontal hull armor. 76 on the turret, so... Because it's very flat, almost every single vehicle is going to go through the Cromwell's armor. But even if it's a stock gun. Even if it's a stock gun, a lot of people will still be able to penetrate your vehicle, so do watch out for that. Do not trust your armor. Trust your mobility. Trust the gun, trust the camo of the vehicle. Um, you can actually play as an extra scout if you like with the Cromwell. Um, if you can get a second loadout with your Cromwell Berlin, you can actually go with exhaust, go with uh, optics, go with everything scouty that you can get. And you will be sneaky, you will be cheeky, and you will be able to spot any vehicles, kind of like an extra light tank on your team for maps like Prokhorovka, Malinovka. All of those sneaky light tank maps, but there we go. One into the Panzer 4H. Luckily, the Panzer 4H misses, and another one. That means we'll just go forwards, finish off this Panzer 4H easily. And now it is from a 1v5, if I'm not mistaken, into a 1v2 against an SC weight, which is a very big gun. You need to watch out. Might actually be able to one shot Maximilian over here. And the S35 CA, which, once again, has a very dangerous gun. Very dangerous gun. I think if it's with like slight high rolls, I believe that he can actually finish off Maximili with a couple of shots over here. So do need to watch out for both of those very dangerous vehicles. But up to seven kills, three thousand eight hundred damage. You do not want to throw away this battle right now. There's the SU8 spotted. One to the back of the SU8. Can catch this SU8 before they run away. Do not let the SU8 hit you here. Just catch him. How much is the HE? Thirty-eight and one hundred seventy-five. 
I, I, I wouldn't switch to HE over here. Just go with the APCR, connect the shots. There we go. One and two, shutting down the tier six Russian artillery over there. Great stuff by Maximilian over here. Whew. My goodness. 1v1 now with a full health. That's spotted on full health, of course. Um, or not even spotted as 35 CA. So, unless they got hit by some blind fire. Uh, the S35 CA is on all of their HP. I <laughs> love the platoon mate. Uh, the platoon mate in the chat. Top player, you can do it, go for it. This is how platoon mates should be acting. And I mean, it's not like they, they didn't start in a platoon, right? It was a dynamic platoon that was established at the start of the battle. So that's absolutely lovely. Like, I love seeing that uh, from the player base instead of the usual very toxic. Uh, messages that you uh, probably used to get a very encouraging helpful nice player over here so shout out to the vk31h over here for just being a good human being inside an online game i really do appreciate seeing uh, people like that okay but there we go into the case so, one is the bush there we go the s35 is spotted into the bush over here unfortunately missing the first shot the s35 stays on 286 hp that means we need Two or three shots, depends on if we can get a high roll. This vehicle only has 135 damage, so slight high rolls are definitely needed over here. Trying to put one blind. I think maybe using the uh, the other camera angle might be better over here. Shooting one blind into the bush, another one blind into the bush, but the S35 actually hitting us over here, making us basically a one shot. Is it? They do need a slight high roll um, to finish us off. 255 HP remaining against the S35 CA, but we know we actually pen the S35 CA once, and that means that they're either a one-shot or a two-shot. Where is that S35 CA? How much HP do they have? Then the Yarn, 10 HP, careful, so it's actually surviving a hit from the S35 CA, leaving Maximili on 9 HP and a Dream, shutting down the very dangerous tier 5 French tank destroyer over there. And, uh, yeah, like the platoon mate over here said, you won the game alone, basically, Maximili. Uh, the M10, 25 TP, got a few kills. GG's for them as well. But 9 kills. Over 4,000 damage over here. And just securing those kills at the end. Absolutely amazing stuff. By Maximili in the Cromwell B, which, like I said earlier, you can actually get for free now. I mean, free. Basically, no monies, you know? If you go... To the D-Day command center website, you claim those tokens. Um, if you do watch the Twitch streams, you do get the Twitch drops weekly and like, every weekend and weekday. Those are two different drops, in case anyone is wondering. So don't forget to claim both weekday drops and weekend drops. Those are two different things that will give you uh, tokens separately. If you miss one of, one of those, you will not be able to get Two vehicles you'll be able to get only one from the token store but yeah maximilian with an amazing game like i said nine kills over four thousand damage how amazing was this game let's go and check out the post game stats real quick there we go easy ace tanker for the 2014 base experience and over here a bunch of those lovely ribbons a call of banners medal for standing alone against at least five vehicles and emerging victorious Redley Walters. For 8 or 9 kills, in this case 9 kills, Defender Medal for actually getting 100 defense points against both the KV-1 and the S-35CA. Um, a high caliber obviously for the 4,693, so a lot of blind shots that were happening over here as well. Um, a Top Gun for 6 kills, but in this case 9, so that's basically a Top Gun and a half, I guess. Um, yeah, first damage kills and XP of course. 56 shots fired like this vehicle it doesn't have too many shells i mean 56 is quite a bit right but you can run out of shells so you do need to watch out for that 45 of those hit 41 penetrated so the hit penetration ratio is lovely over here like i said 4700 damage just under that right 4693 um eight hits received seven penetrated one did not penetrate, like I said, do not trust this vehicle's armor, it will not hold up. The only non-penetration was against the KV-1, which I guess just bounced off a weird angle or something. I really don't see 
any other way that the KV-1 did not penetrate this one. And, I mean, 110 damage blocked by the armor, which is just enough, right? So having one 9 HP. So that one blocked shot is exactly what we needed to take down this battle. Four vehicles spotted. Um, 11 vehicles damaged, 9 subsequently destroyed. Only 109 spotting damage over here, but when you do so much damage, do you really need the spotting? You know. <laughs> but yeah, 100 defense points, 5.47 kilometers traveled, so just driving around the entire map, basically south, middle, north, west, just every single area of the map was explored by Maximilian over here. Um, actually losing a few credits, even though this is a premium vehicle, when you do fire only gold, uh, when you do use premium consumables, as you can see, even with such a lovely battle, you still might lose some credits. Only 440 credits, but a loss is a loss. Personally, I wouldn't mind 440 credits lost for such an amazing game. But yes, if you fire gold, you will not be making a lot of credits because this vehicle fires fast. So because of that very good rate of fire, if you fire gold, you lose a lot of credits. Right? That's just how it works. So if you do want to make credits, make sure that you're firing regular rounds when needed and gold rounds only when needed. Instead of going all gold, I guess Maximilian wanted the third mark on the Cromwell B. If I'm not mistaken, they had two marks on their gun. So that does make sense that they're firing only gold to make sure they're penetrating most of their shots. Um, but yeah, 3,127 XP earned over here in total, 152 free XP. And overall, just an amazing World of Tanks battle by Maximilian. Um, but yeah, I guess this is it for this video, so uh, let me know in the comments down below which vehicles are you planning on getting in this month's special token store, the D-Day um, special token store. Are you going for the Cromwell B maybe, or maybe you want the Talk 2, Tiger 131, Britannia Panther, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to claim the tokens, I will leave the, the link to the command center down below, go and claim it right now. Um, and watch Twitch streams to be able to get all of the tokens. But yeah, this is it for this video. So let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as always, you're awesome. Stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Tata's people, have a good one.